So how do you ballast your model railway track? And by that I mean how do you put this gravel around the rails as in this picture? Well there's several ways. On your wooden board you can paint it grey if you wish. Or you could stick on some scenic matting. It's gravel colour. That will lay underneath the rail, of course. And ideally you want the gravel to be in the sleepers or tyres. So, there's two other methods. Another way is to use some ballasting powder. You sprinkle that on between the rails, flat in with a brush, and then drop on a mixture of glue, which is PVA glue, watered down 50-50 with water, and a drop of detergent, and then you leave that for 12 hours or so to dry and that will ballast your tracks as well but I found that can get into points it can derail trains over um, sections of track where the ballast gets stuck so another method I'm trying is this which is ballasted foam now this foam is special it's not your regular foam it's got a ballast look to it and it's made by Gage Master GM200 is the code and I'm giving this a go. This also quietens down the track quite substantially. And you just lay it in with some glue. And within uh, just a few minutes, your track is done, ready for action. The glue that I use is spray mount. And this is an example. Always test the glue first. Make sure it doesn't react with the foam and destroy it and eat into it. This is just foam, so it's quite weak in certain respects and be careful how you treat it. It'd be interesting to see how long my layout lasts now. Now layout two this is now that I'm doing it this way. Because obviously I can take my train track apart and put it together and change my layout in doing that. Um, bits and pieces might wear out over time such as the the foam and the fish plates that join the track and also the track itself. So I'd be interested to see how long it does actually last. This is my preferred method at the moment of doing this though. Here is my ballasted track. This is the finished effect and it, it looks quite nice I think. The uh, foam has sunk nicely into the sleepers although you can vary the amount of depth to give it a sort of uneven effect. I also like the way though that this is fairly uniform. It looks nice on the track and I can just place that on a baseboard which is covered with grass and that should look pretty good allow me to vary the layout quite a lot this gauge master stuff does about 15 meters in uh, one go in one box load and I've used four of these to do just around about 50 55 meters of track that's a third and a fourth radius loop with uh, three straights on each side I like the end effect though, I'm really pleased with it and the train is just so quiet on this. It doesn't derail either, all of the uh, joints and points, everything works perfectly. I can run all sorts of trains, multiple wheels, small shunters, with all different speeds, full speed or whatever. And it likes it, so I like it too.